Hey, what's up guys, Thermo11 here, and today I'll be talking about League of Legends, which you can now get a scholarship for? What's going on? But before, I wanted to go over a few things with the channel and uh, other stuff. If you noticed, like, the last few videos I've made, like, uh, any video that says HD was probably made at my house, and the problem is, is that I noticed that I, I don't think I put images in any of those videos because I have the new, I get the, the newest version of Windows Movie Maker, which is actually different. And this version requires you to have an image uh, before you actually start recording any audio for the video. And then I, I realized, I was like, wow, I don't know how to edit this. I don't know how to put multiple images on this. And I was looking through the settings and I couldn't figure it out. So I need to look up uh, some YouTube videos before that because... Uh, Top 10 Cartoons 2014 is coming to today, uh, which is something I, I normally get excited about doing the top 10 list of the year. And I, I like to put multiple images in the video, particularly 10 images or maybe maybe more of like other cartoons or video games or whatever I'm doing is like being mentioned in the video. So um, I need to review these last, these last few videos to see if I actually used any other images in them because I don't think I did. And if I did, I need to... <laughs> relearn how to edit because um, my laptop and the old computer had the older version of uh, Windows Movie Maker which was actually superior to me and I have to see if there's just like a problem in the settings with Windows Movie Maker or is this just set in stone and how uh, Movie Maker is. Now uh, I also want to talk about you know the main topic League uh, I guess as the fans call it. My friend Braxton showed me um, you know I mentioned Braxton a lot cool guy uh, I don't know if he still watches these, so there's your there's your shout out. But he showed me um this game called Vainglory or something like that, which is uh similar to League of Legends. So I got to play play with it and everything because I I think League is a pretty big game. I don't know if I want to download that. Of uh, you, you know, it's like oh you have a lot of space on your computer, but yeah, like um. You have the, the initial game, and you have, like, other things you have to download. The game will probably get bigger uh, as there are more updates and everything. So I don't know if I want that on my computer. Uh, it might slow it down as well. So I got Vainglory on um, another device. And uh, I've been playing around with it. Uh, I play, we, play, we played a few matches. I kind of started there. We played a few matches of Vainglory. And I don't see the, see the attraction. Like, at first I was like, oh, wow, this is cool and everything. It's got strategy. But then it's like this match took us 20 minutes and league matches can go on for hours or at least up to an hour. And I'm like, nah, I don't see how people play this, but I don't know. Uh, if you guys play, tell me more about it. I'm I'm guessing they're different. I, I think he said Vainglory is more simplified. Um, but basically you have a character, um, you have a base. So it's like tower defense basically, but a weird tower defense thing. Um, three characters, so like a team, and I guess, uh, I guess actual league matches would be three people or one on one, I'm not sure, um, and then you kind of like destroy their crystal, which was basically how it was like, how it was in Vainglory, and then you got like small minions, uh, defending and like lasers or something defending your, uh, your area or like ask the other teams going over there and then there was other things like on the map that you could take advantage of to help you um, earn more gold to summon uh, certain characters or uh, get different weapons and stuff because I believe you will you always start at level one um, in Vainglory and then you um, you buy the upgrade so basically you have to know what you want to do before you're actually you actually start playing the game I guess League gets very complicated uh, as well and uh, the, the main thing is like League of Legends, like uh, this came out earlier in this year, but Smosh did an article on it and you can get a scholarship for this, like a, a college scholarship, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, esports are now being recognized as actual sports. I don't know if any other games will get this uh, treatment, but I know League has a large following. It has a lot of money in it, so why not? And um, the thing I thought I was... I was doing my uh, my snapchat thing I, I do vlogs on snapchat pretty much that's pretty much what it is it's just me like talking about different stuff but on my snapchat I was talking about um, how it's like wow I think league like this could be 
this could change things. Like people could encourage their kids to play video games to get the scholarships. Like kids would actually be studying up on this video game, how to play it, how to learn uh, learn about it, maybe even like how to learn about it, how like you know they would learn about the game because uh, they might not even like video games, but they might learn about league, you know, just for a scholarship or something. And you know, it sounds cool. I, I think um, you know this could just change things. People will encourage their kids to play video games, kind of repeating myself, but you know, it's like, yeah, you go play League for two hours, and then you can go back to trying to become a, becoming a doctor, you know, you gotta keep that scholarship, and you know, this is cool, I, I think this would be awesome if my college offered this, I'd hop right in, I'd start playing League, go to a League club, or whatever, um, it would encourage me to play a game, I'll probably play it eventually, but I, I don't know, <laughs> I might try to get, in, get into it too late, and then the fame's gonna be like gone or something. Uh, but yeah, let me just take a look at this article and see, um, if there's anything on here. Um, I remember I saw this picture, it's like, it's so, um, it's so ironic, like, athletes, they can get a scholarship easy, but someone, easily, but someone who has, like, a 4.0 GPA, they don't get a scholarship, you know, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so it should be the same as, like, a, a school's athletic program, you get a certain GPA, and it's like 2.5. That's like really low. <laughs> I don't want to like be rude to anyone, but like it the way it felt like in high school, it's like anyone with like a 2.0, 2.5, lower than that, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> um, it's like 3.0 or higher at least. Um Yeah, the article says like like they're saying will it be kind of odd or anything. I, I think it's awesome, you know. I think it's really cool that stuff like this is happening. Um, League is actually it's a very it's a strategy game, so I think you know that's a little bit closer to school. Like I don't know if they're gonna start doing like fighting games or something like Smash Bros. Like I doubt that. Uh, I think it was stated that Smash Bros. is a party game, but like people use it as a fighting game. I guess essentially it is a fighting game. I don't I don't think like things like Street Fighter or Tekken or something. It has to be something that's big, and I would. I think that it has, you know, require some intelligence. Well, video games do require intelligence, but I guess it's different in a way. Um, yeah. So, you can get a scholarship for playing League. I don't think I have anything else to say on the topic. That was kind of just like a quick video. I wanted to get an opinion out there. And, um, I mean, I don't really care if this gets that many views or not. Really, I want people to watch the top 10 cartoon videos, so... Check that out, and I will see you guys later. Peace.